Welcome back. Um, this might be something that you might already know what it is, but well, this station. is the game that I was thinking whether I should play or whether I should not play. And well, <coughs> I decided, well, well since we are all waiting for Evecos to come out, um, well, I might as well try this game out to see how you guys like it. And overall, um, to see again how it changed from September release. Now, personally, well, um, I am, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this game. Uh, well, I'll see if there is anything, like, effective at the game. Or, should I say, if there is anything fun at the game. And, well, I'm open to your, like, suggestions. And I'm open to your, like, well, um, own words on this game. And, well, um, I'll be playing a couple of these missions. For starters, of course, since I cannot log in in my old account anymore for some weird reason. Um, I don't know if I lost the password, Starting even though I engine. didn't change the password for like since I Come since I have the the account. So I start the new one, and well, uh, for starters, I'll be playing these missions. Of course, later on I'll be playing the more advanced stuff. I'll see about PvP probably because PvP in this game is heavily pay to win I can confirm that and well other people have said that to me already and I do trust them speaking from my own experience mostly so we will see where this goes now again like I said um, I I'm open to your suggestions and well your words on this game and well but so far I can say that um, since September they kind of changed right. something, uh, I mean the game kind of does run smoother than before, I don't know. It looks alright, I mean, Evecus definitely, definitely looks better than this. I mean, the, the, the difference is like obvious, but alright, these graphics will work, definitely I guess, well, second highest um, graphical design in a mobile MMO, and this game is by the way crossplay also all right well let's see where this goes um, interesting space little station. station now I did choose the Oracle Empire because well why not um, why not start with something new something Welcome unique back, my uh, previously I started with Nova Federation I, I believe I kind of forgot uh, we will see and well um, what is this oh we cover oh hey, it's a frigate all right well they gave me a free frigate. Nice. <laughs> oh man. Well, let's see. Let's see how this will go. Now, on first look, I mean, you already can guess um, which nation the Oracle Empire should represent. It's no secret. I mean, it's obvious. Looks like Amar. Pretty much. Uh, even the ship design looks Amar. So. Uh, that's kinda... Hey, now, people say really it's like a uh, straight copy, and lies. well, I mean, I kinda do agree to some extent with what they said. The overall, Starting like, co color scheme, the overall design of the ships is pretty Amar-like, um, I'll be, I'll be honest with you, that, uh, that, and well, I mean, since we don't have anything better at this point on mobile, I mean, I could play like the PC if, but my PC um, is not in the best condition at this point. And until I have free time to upgrade it, then uh, I just cannot risk to play that game. Because, you know, one mistake in that game can cost a lot. And I can't afford to lag or to have bad internet connection. Well, anyway, uh, Pirate Hideout. What the hell is... What the fuck? Okay. Pirate base guy. Well, this little frigate is indeed um, really quick. Uh, I'll give them that. It is really quick. Now with the um, with the boost, it hits like 1.7 k. Uh, yeah, 1.7 k. Uh, yeah, 1.7 k meters per second. Hmm, that's pretty fast. Although the tracking on these look, they still manage to hit me. Hmm, that's some interesting tracking they got there. And now, of course, I, um, I do use lasers, uh, as you could have already guessed. And, okay, well, we have two more enemies just jumped in. 
Now, indeed, um, this game also has a couple of problems with the lag. Uh, not frame rate lag, but lag in terms of uh, ping. I don't know if it's my internet connection, or could my internet connection, I don't know. But I suspect it's the game. Uh, if Echoes didn't have too many ping problems, at least, like, there was some of them at start, but that kind of disappeared as I played the game more and more. Oh man, I mean, we all need the Echoes, right? It's like the ideal game for a lot of us who don't have much time to play the Eve, the original Eve. And also it's a nice, uh, it's nice to have a fresh start. You pretty much start fair and square with a lot of other people. And well, that's one of the, one of the things that I look forward to. Oh come on, they call it even Aram Station, like please, Jesus Christ. Welcome back, my soldier. Oh man, well, um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm really, really interested in, in seeing like your own opinion on this game, since um, I don't know uh, the advertisement for what. Uh, High graphics, oh well, thank you, I mean, I know, gaming phone, holy shit. Like, the, I remember the advertisement for this game was kind of, was kind of crazy, actually. I, I uh, remember seeing this game all over the place in August and July of 2019. And if, if any of you play No Man's Sky, I'm pretty sure who, who will fault No Man's Sky like in like 60% to 70% of cases all of these people um, regretted the, the, the hype for that game loyal. since I, I like I have the game right with, uh, on my PC right now and uh, I have the old version and the upgraded version like the newer one and even if like someone pirated the game that person felt robbed for pirating the game and well that's that was the level of that was the level of bad No Man's Sky was. Now this game uh, is a pay. It's, it's like too much pay to win. Personally, that's my personal op opinion. Uh, and pretty much a lot of other people will kind of agree with me on that one. But well, if if you guys appear to enjoy this game, well, I'll play it. I mean, uh, I need something that I can play while I wait for Ivecus uh, and I tried other games they don't fit the they don't fit the cookie like they don't fit they don't give the same feeling not, not even close and this game well while you can pretty much say it is a clone and I would agree with you to a really big extent that it is a clone it is the closest to EVE Online we have at um, to EVE Echoes uh, that we have at this point on mobile at least and to play the PC version, well, uh, my PC is not. Uh, my PC is not good at all. So yikes! All right, well, this is interesting. Um, that thing is following me in my tracks. Jesus Christ, that it's fast. Bloody frigate. Bloody frigate. Well, he's he's out. Uh, shield supply net. It's over there. All right, well, let me. Let me quick and the voices in this game, holy shit! Like, if anyone knows where I can disable the the AI voice in this game, please tell me in the comments. I can't stand the AI in this game. It feels like I don't know, weird for me. I can't get used to it for some reason. And uh, well, that was quick. All right. Well, onto the pirate leader there. And well, this ship supposedly has a good capacitor, so let's see if that. If that is the case. Okay. Hello? Oh, I got jumped. Alright, well, two more. I mean, pirate leader and two guards. Hmm. Yeah, and that's a dest and this is a destroyer, by the way. I know, it looks like a uh, Unreal Tournament pistol, but. But it's a destroyer. And I forgot pretty much what weapon it's, uh, it's using. I think it's using like. Railguns? No, I, I forgot actually. Um, it's a Neo Federation, I believe. A Neo Federation ship. Although I will not lie, um, the des I like the design of this current ship that I am like flying. Um, it looks like a dar. No, it looks like a drum yell actually. Holy shit, it kinda looks like a drum yell actually. 
when I look at it this way. Yeah, it, it looks like a fucking Dramiel, even though Dramiel is like a hybrid chip between Mimotor and Galanta, this one is pretty much... This one would be Amar in Eve, but in this game it's, it's this. Alright, so let me take this thing out. Hmm. I run out of energy. Lovely. Okay, not so cap stable. Hmm. Okay, well that was... Hmm. And this game has these CGs which are... Which are nice. I mean, the, C the cutscenes in this game are alright. I can't complain about the cutscenes. Although, I complain target. about the balance in this game and other uh, issues that we have in this game. Now, I, I, it depends, like, if you guys want me to play this game, I'll play it, it's no big deal for me. I pretty much need something that I can play while I wait for Eve Echoes. And, well, I need something actually to compare these two games, like... Um, it, will be, it will be pretty interesting. Also, yeah, <laughs> this looks like a Dramiel, I mean... I mean, come on, the Alphys, it is be kind of... Ah... <sighs> Alright. Also, what the hell is that munition freighter doing in the background there? I just noticed, noticed it. Alright. Well, I think the mission is complete. Yep, uh, the mission is completed. Alright, well, we could continue on the next one. Alright. Uh, sorry, sorry for me being silent, I had to type something. And, well, let's return. Like, they even, they even put the the warp, like, it's... Oh man, it, it looks like Eve. Yeah, they pretty much try to look like Eve so much. Even when you jump through gates, you get to see, like, the overall jump animation, even though the jump animation in Eve Echoes appear to be kind of smoother, even though this game runs at 60 frames per second, while the other game, while Eve Echoes back, was unfortunately kept at 30 frames per second, but... It compensated for the for the high quality graphics. Like Eve Echoes definitely required a powerhouse to run uh, when when it was out. That is undeniable. Like I tried to make the game like Force 60. Um, it did not work. Mostly because I failed to consider one thing and yeah, um, forgot to unlock History settings, that was games. my fault, I noticed that like a couple weeks ago, I noticed that last week actually when I experimented with something, and unfortunately that's where I messed up, uh, if Echoes can run 60 frames per second, well, when you tamper with the overall, um, overall system settings of the device and of course of the game. Uh, pretty much somewhat of a modding in in a way not quite modding but close to it like it's similar to modding in a way and well that's pretty much uh, what I made a mistake when I pretty much uh, tried to unlock settings like it can lock 60 and when it drops I will probably run it at 60 or well the developers might include that within the game which would be kind of nice from them actually Alright, well, um, Smuggler's Commercial Port. Alright, well, uh, looks like, and look at this, like, I, I tap on orbit, and the ship is going out of range, uh, and the ship supposed to orbit within the weapons range, which I find really weird, and kind of annoying. Now, the, the range of these lasers is like 12 kilometers, so it's pretty decent for a frigate, alright, 12 kilometers range, pretty decent. It should orbit at around, like, your current orbit. It should not do what it does, and and that's just pissing me off at, at this point, like, um, orbits are kind of bugged. Now, I don't know if, if I, 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 I forgot, right? I forgot if that problem was a longer problem, or if that was kind of, uh, if this is a new one, but I'm not a fan of um, bugs that aren't fixed, and well, um, in that term, I'm I'm, I'm unforgiving. All right? all right, well, Smuggler's commercial port. Let's orbit. Let's see if it will keep it ten up. Nope, it's not. It's going for a long range, long ass range orbit, which makes no sense. Like, like, come on, come closer. Twelve or fifteen kilometers I have range on on these weapons that I have. 
and the ship is not responding. <laughs> Look at this. This is a stubborn little ship, uh, I will not lie. Stubborn ship which I will not be sad losing. Orbiting since target. it doesn't look and I tap orbit and it immediately like goes target. out of range for target. no reason and it worked like a second ago okay um, well I'll just approach it and I'll destroy it in the flyby all right well the the base is taking some nasty damage the lasers actually do more damage uh, as you focus them more on the target so each, uh, each salvo will do more damage than the one before. That's pretty nice, that's a pretty nice buff. And station is target. fucked up, target. okay. And well, nice, uh, we have completed everything, alright. Well, uh, that was a mission complete, I guess. Alright, now we can, now we, yeah, it's mission complete. Well, um, I guess it's time to new hunger unlocked, alright. Well, uh, next time we will be playing, I think, with a destroyer and uh, slowly I'll progress through the ranks and and hopefully I'll get modules that I can buy that will allow me to buy better ships and better equipment. Since this game does have a market and, um, well, you know me, I need gear, need equipment and need license for now for other ships. Okay. Let's see, fight report, alright, well that's, well nice, I mean nice, these these items don't worth any, they aren't worth anything, but alright, they will work, I guess, like, I remember, I'll, I was personally kind of, if you can call it, I had the hype going on with me when I first saw this game, like, in the closed beta, I thought like, wow, this is something unique, back in the day it was unique. But then I saw Eve Echoes coming out, and oh man, you know me. I mean, I mean, everyone said, everyone is, 90% of people are saying Eve Echoes was amazing. It had its problems, alright? Like, it had its problems. I will not ignore the problems. And, well, hopefully, when the game does drop, um, in like a couple months, that we will be able to enjoy it all. And, well, until then, I'll play this game. And well, with that, with that being said, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want me to continue, if you want me to continue this game, just say. And well, with that being said, I'll see you next time. Take care.